everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. I am Heart Gold Soul Silver 1994, and apparently I ripped off Purple Rachi for absolutely no reason. In the last episode, we started a game with Torchic, nicknamed Fireball. I just wasted 15 seconds of your life just telling you about the past. In this episode, we're gonna be taking on Route 102, starting with this youngster right here. If you have Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. You wanna bet? You wanna denied? Kidding. But um, yeah, no, I don't wanna talk to you. So yeah, while I'm on this road, I'm actually looking for two of my teammates. I think one of them might be right now. Uh, no, but <laughs> nice of you to see a Poochiana along the way. So yeah, I'm probably gonna encounter my first my first teammate, and then I'll go ahead and battle the trainer afterwards, cuz I do need um the Pokemon. Yes! This is one of them! Oh my god, I found one of them on the Whoa! Is the game being generous? I guess it's making up for like Pokemon Black. Nintendo! You're finally on my side! Yes, this is one of my teammates I wanted. Ralt. Come on. Yeah! Dude, that was lucky. Ralt has like a like a 4% chance of appearing. That has never happened to me before. And I'm gonna actually skip the nickname so it won't be like Sesame Street to you guys anymore. <laughs> I still have thoughts of the last episode of that. I, I do apologize for that. Dude! Okay, so, this is one of the teammates I actually wanted, uh, Ralts, which I named Ash Bear. I'm sorry, Ashley, you're a male. <laughs> uh, just like you, you got Pee Wee as a female, but yeah. So anyways, we're gonna be facing this trainer next. There we go, I encountered him. Haha, <laughs> right, it's me. I'll take you with my butt, Pokemon. No, you ain't! Okay, so at this point, the... Audio got kind of messed up, the music just started going out of sync, I haven't had this problem since God knows when, so I'm going to be playing a little bit of music, and I'm going to do uh, post narration. Yes, I know, so much for my uh, <laughs> good chances of live narration, but we did find a potion, we did battle two trainers, and we found uh, our low tad, as you'll see later on, when that was a female, so I decided to uh, <clears throat> uh, get a male one. And as you can see, we're counting Poochiana. Poochiana is even more Poochianas, and then we encountered a female Lotad, which I decided to get wait until I got a male one. I don't know why the voice uh, decided to just sink out of there, but here's the male Lotad I was actually looking for. So, yeah, as you know, Lotad, the reason why I had Lotad on my team is because it takes care of the water and the grass types. So I don't have to search for a Tropius to be my grass type and then like some sort of random water Pokemon to become, well, my water type Pokemon for the team. And it kind of balances out, you know, so that I don't have to, you know, panic about uh, dropping one of my Pokemon out for two of them. <laughs> Which, yeah, you guys hopefully will understand. And I did read the uh, <clears throat> Pokemon X text. I decided to nickname uh, my low tat Agua. And I know it's Spanish for blue. <laughs> I do know my Spanish, and uh, water is blue, and it kind of looks blue. <laughs> Look at it, it's kind of blue, isn't it? So anyways, yes, once we're done here, we head to Pillowbrook City. Oh yeah, if you try to, well, I hate how to heal the Pokemon Center, but if you try to uh, go outside, this kid will uh, just take you to the gym. And see, that's Pillowbrook Gym, and yes, it, yes, we're on our way. So anyways, you have to talk to her dad here. Hmm, well, if it isn't Blake, so you finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here. Oh, oh you see with your Pokemon. Mm, you're going to be a trainer just like me, Blake. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. And then Wally comes in. Mm, um, I'd like to have a get a Pokemon, please. Hmm, oh, you're right. You're Wally, right? Yeah, exactly like that. I did it pretty perfectly. I thought I'd be lonely by myself and then blah, blah, blah. blah. I guess this is how Drew Ponish uh, kind of like does his... Uh, episodes where he puts like random uh, music in there and then that's it. But here is the most annoying part. If you couldn't find a Ralts just like I did in the first part, then a Ralts is obviously going to show up for him. I mean, it's going to show up whether you find one or not. No, duh. And it gets cut to scene because we already know how to catch Pokemon. Unless you don't know how to do that, then you're screwed because I won't show you. So anyways, 
He has his rolls, he's happy he gets back to Zigzag And <laughs> Speaking of which, it did actually miss a tackle while I was doing it. I thought that pretty funny. I guess they actually did that on purpose or not. So we're here, done here in Pillarburg City. We're going to be moving on, but first this guy named Scott comes in. He identifies you as a Pokemon trainer. Maybe you're not so dirty, you're not dirty, you're a rookie trainer or just an ordinary kid. I'm ruining such a talented trainer, so I'm sorry I've taken your time. And yeah. <laughs> Dude, how come I can read this fast and I can't do it for probably half of the entire game? I, I don't want to know, but yeah, we do have a new uh, guy in here in the new Route, one, route 103, I believe it is. <clears throat> he has a Magikarp, and this youngster, I believe, has a C-Dot. You know, there are two C-Dots. This girl right here is not a trainer, but, um, I don't know why, but she, I think she kind of acts like one. I don't know. But anyways, yeah, I did have to go heal and buy some potions, buy some repels. And if you actually talk to this lady, she'll give you like a thousand dollars. I believe that's how much she gives you, I'm not sure. Yeah, I go ahead and check it. It's like a thousand something. I I think it's fourteen hundred, but yeah. Anyways, this bug trainer used to have uh, six Wurfles, but never really it shortened to four. Thank freaking goodness, otherwise I would have had to dealt with that a lot. But yeah, so as you can see, we find a paralysis heal, and what you have to do is come around here. This guy's are looking like for a Shroomish, hmm, another one found. Hello, if you've seen a Pokemon named Shroomish around here, I really love that Pokemon. I was going to ambush you, but I have a dense wild. I've had a big word forever, didn't you? I got sick of wings, so here I am. Wow, <laughs> I'm reading this fast. <laughs> That's the first impressive sign right there of how I'm doing. <clears throat> So yeah, as, as you can see, I'm going to be showing you the Team Aqua Pokemon. This guy only had a Puchiana, as well as Team Magma. Grrr, you Team Magma, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 just GTFO for me, will ya? Um, <clears throat> and after you uh, battle that guy, uh, the guy in charge of Rosturbio, uh, some sort of Sturbio bidding gives you a um, Great Ball. Which is actually good towards uh, catching Pokemon. Uh, and it's kind of too early, just like how Ultra Balls were really, really early in the game. And we do find our fifth teammate in this game, which is a Slackoth. Uh, personally, I think it's a, probably an underrated Pokemon in the entire in the entire game, because everyone thinks true, and you know, oh, Slacking is just like really weak Pokemon. But it actually has great amount of attack, great amount of speed, uh, pretty decent amount of defense. It has like three base stat bars, and I give it the name Lazy. It's kind of like JC, only put an L instead of a, a J. <laughs> Just because it's lazy. You guys are going to get it uh, once I used it, so. Anyways, I forgot to do something, Route 102. I forgot to pick up the berry. And I forgot to go into the store. <laughs> On accident. I'm sorry, and here we're introduced to Devil Battles, normally found in one of the Indigo episodes where he I think he takes on that girl. Uh, what was the? Yeah, it was an anime where he, she was showing two Pokemon. I don't know what that is. So, anyways, there was a double battle. This uh, lady right here gives you a berry, chestnut berry that put that uh, prevents uh, that wakes up your Pokemon from sleep. Jeez, I've been getting into so much Pokemon Black and White lately. And if you talk to this guy, he gives you a big amount of cash as well. So I decided to go in here. Normally, I thought uh, the pelt was gonna give you the wind apparel. Then I was really stupid, because I haven't played this in a while, and then I realized it was this girl you needed to talk to in order to get the whale repair. <sighs> I'm getting through a lot by really quick, so uh, we're getting close towards the end of the episode. Comment, rate, and subscribe. I do apologize for the post-commentary part, and I will see you when we take on the gym leader, Russ, uh, Roxanne. <laughs> I messed up there for a moment.